All right, so we're back and we've gone through the plan and the section and now we're going to do the 3D section. So this is a view. So if I pick it and scroll down over here, it's going to tell me that it's PAR01, right? So I can come up to here and it's actually a 3D view, right? So you'll see PAR01 under 3D views, which is short for parallel for me, so it's a parallel view. I'm just going to right click on it and delete it. All right. So now what I want to do is create a new parallel view that's sectioned. So to do that, I can do um, a couple of different things, but really the easiest way is to start from your default 3D view, which is this little bracketed view right here. I'm going to double click on it. And it's going to give me that view. I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate that view. And it's going to give me a copy and I'm going to rename it. And I'm going to name it, you know, uh, PAR. So now I can go in and start changing um, the way things look in here. So right now we're in a wireframe, so I'm just going to go to a shaded view so I can see that guy. I don't really want to see the crop, the scope box in here, so I'm going to hide in view category. And I don't really want to see this ground plane, so I'll do the same thing, hide in view category. And I'm going to turn off the shadows for a minute just to make things a little easier. Now, if you want to section this guy, let's say we want to section this in the long section, you can turn on what's called a section box. So in my properties dialog box, I have an instance parameter that is a section box that will turn on in this view. So I just click that little radio right there and it turns this section box on and I can pick that section box. And it gives me these little blue handles that allow me to sort of pull that guy in, right? So there it is. And if I go in a little further, it's a little bit of, you know, a dance to get it where you want it. All right, so there that guy is. Now we can go in and we can start, um, you know, adjusting the view. So you can do this very similarly to the way you did other views. So visibility graphics, right? And it's a generic model. So I can come in and I can change that section cut pattern and I'm going to make it sort of a similar blue. Again, I should really look at the, the uh, color. Click OK. Make it solid. Click OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and maybe I want to see a different sort of pattern on the surface. So maybe a little bit of a different color, right? So maybe this one has a gray surface. I'll click OK and it's going to be solid. And I'm going to make this one a little transparent. So we'll pull it up to around 20, click OK, and then click OK. So now you're going to see, right, that guy with the blue and the transparency. I could also go from shaded to, let's go to hidden line. Right, so the hidden line's gonna you're gonna see the section a little better, but you're gonna see that transparency as well. So it's kind of up to you how you want to do it. Maybe it'd be nicer if this were a little lighter gray. So if I go to VV, I change that to a lighter gray. And maybe I change the cut lines. Oh sorry, the cut lines to be thicker. Let's just make them how about a 12, click OK, click OK. So now that's reading a little bit better. Maybe it's a little bit too much transparency. So I go to VV and I take that transparency down, you know, to where it's just a little bit. But it's just a balance. So now I've got that in there. I can take this section box and right click on it and go to hide in view category. Right, so it hides that. Okay, so now I've got that guy. Now um, it's an eighth of an inch, and the scope box doesn't really work on this one, so we have to set the cropping box separately. So down here, if you don't have a scope box, you have an option to crop the view and to show the crop region. And so you can kind of pick this crop region and pull it in close, right? 
And this is a parallel view, so it actually has a scale over here, right, of eighth of an inch. So once you have the cropping on down here, you can actually see how big the crop box is. So that crop box is eight by seven. Let's scale it down a little bit so it's a little smaller. So I'm going to go to scale and I'm going to pick how about 330 seconds. Okay, so it'll get a little smaller. Let's go to the size and crop, and you'll see it's gone to six by five. And I'm just going to change it to six by six inches to make it even. And click OK. So now I've got that guy cropped and ready to go onto the sheet. So I'm going to pull it down to my sheet down here. Scroll back up to my 3D views. It's getting a little jumpy. All right, and take my PIR01 and bring that guy out. All right. So again, the same things come up. Um, I want to get rid of that view title, so I go no view title. And then if I want to get rid of the um, crop box region, you can double click in here and it takes you into the view and you can turn that crop region off and double click. Okay, so now we have the sec section, the plan, and then the 3D um, section as well. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is a 3D view right here.